Hi, right this is a test to see how good these live filter bacteria are. I've got two different products, Pure Pond and NT Labs live filter bacteria. Now I'm going to do a test to see how quickly they remove household ammonia, which I've got in this bottle here. And uh, I've set up an experiment with five different mixtures. So this first one is going to be 20 balls of Pure Pond. So we've got that there. Pop that in. I've got a single piece of pumice stone that's brand new uh, and a bubbler in there and um, we'll see how that gets on at removing the two milligrams of ammonia that we've got in, in all of these. So the, this is a test of ammonia uh, and a test of nitrites. There's no nitrite in there and there's about two milligrams of ammonia in there based on the colour chart. So the second one is going to put uh, 10 millilitres of NT Labs live bacteria, so I've already measured that out. Tip that in there. Again, we've got a piece of pumice stone in there and a bubbler to help that all get to work. A bit. This next one is going to have a single piece of K1 micro. So that looks like this. It's a plastic filter media, and uh, this is I've taken from my pond. It's fully matured. See how that gets on. In that goes. And again, we've got a piece of pumice stone there that uh, the bacteria can latch onto if they so please. And then in this fourth one, we've got a piece of K3 media, which is again a, uh, a matured piece from a pond. This is plastic media that you can buy. In that goes. And then in the last one, we've got nothing but a piece of pumice stone. I haven't even got a bubbler in there because I haven't got enough taps. Um, but that's our control, so we'll be able to see how these compare. So let's come back to this and see how these do. So we're on day 10 of the experiment. And what I've done is each day I've tested one of the aspects. So I started with ammonia, and when that was clear, I then moved to nitrite. So the ammonia is the yellow and green on this scale here. Yellow means zero for ammonia. So 20 balls of pure pond removed it after day six. We then moved across to nitrite testing. And so by day 10, there's not much ammonia in there, but plenty of nitrite. The 10 mils of uh, live bacteria from NT Labs, well, the ammonia hasn't really changed at all over that period. In fact, it looks like it's increased slightly, but I think there's something strange going on there, maybe with the temperature, because that's happened across a number of the samples. But um, uh, plenty of ammonia still in there plenty of nitrite, so a little bit has been converted to nitrite, but um, not a lot of activity. And if we compare it to the control over here, you see in fact it, uh, it actually looks slightly worse than the control in terms of the ammonia level there. So um, that's uh, not seeing much activity. The one piece of K1 media, well that removed it after day three, so I switched to the nitrite test. Um, which uh, has actually strangely increased over the last few days, even though all the ammonia seems to have been used up. So I think there's something strange going on, maybe the temperature, maybe something else that I don't understand, um, meaning that the nitrite test is coming up higher. But still, we've seen some decent activity on that, removing the ammonia in the early days. On uh, the K3 piece, that again removed most of the ammonia after day three, so I switched to the nitrite testing see the nitrite increase a bit. So here we are at day 10 and we've got practically no ammonia but a reasonable amount of nitrite still in there. Um, and then the last one is the control where the ammonia stayed about the same all the way through um, but the nitrite has increased. So what are our conclusions? Okay well if I start with Pure Pond, if we compare it against the control, the ammonia was reduced, it was reduced after about six days, um, but um, isn't much better than the control, and the nitrite isn't much different. So those results aren't that impressive given that I put 20 balls into one litre of water. This tub is supposed to treat 10,000 litres. Uh, there's not 10,000 times 20 balls in there, so, um, and, and even the effect was fairly modest. Another aspect is that this is best before February 2022, so that's quite a long shelf life, and this isn't refrigerated, so um, I'm not sure the technology they're using to keep those bacteria alive 
Uh, it might be something similar to yeast, um, where it's, it's kept in a deactivated state, but the thing is we haven't really seen the results to support that. Okay. On the NT labs, well this actually appears to have worse levels of ammonia than the control, which is very strange, um, but uh, doesn't have a lower level of nitrite either, so really that one is um, has not done very well at all and, and actually on this one something else to mention is there's no use by date on the packet which for live bacteria strikes me as strange another thing that strikes me as strange is that there's uh, no ref that product isn't refrigerated so um, how the live bacteria can last indefinitely um, is, um, is sort of uh, defies my understanding Another conclusion would be that either K1 or K2, even in a small amount, if you introduce that into your filter, that's going to give you a better chance of establishing uh, your biological filtration um, than either of these products. Um, and the more of it you can do, the better, the less of a shock you'll have. Um, I'll do a separate video on maturing your pond. Um, but I think the best way to do that is to add ammonia into an empty pond and let this, ha this cycle happen without any fish being exposed to these abnormally high levels of um, nitrite ammonia. So they're the overall conclusions. Quite fascinating. I'd love to hear your thoughts on why I've seen a, the nitrite increase even though the ammonia had been removed, if, if there's anyone that um, knows why that might have happened. Um, but um, that's it for today's video.